Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Due to me feeling bad and being sick and family members being sick and all of that, I decided to go ahead and finish everything else up off camera and I'm just gonna do a final flip through of everything and I will tell you everything I did and I didn't complete everything just because um, of time and just not feeling well. So we've been working on this Christmas album for quite some time. I think we started it in November, if I remember correctly. And I have a playlist for this entire album from beginning to end, if you wanna start at the beginning, and you can click that right here. It starts from the introduction to the templates, and then it works its way all the way through to this video. Actually, there'll be one more video because of the giveaway. And let me quickly show you and remind you what the giveaway is. I'm going to have two winners, so how to enter into the giveaway is in this playlist for this album, go through and leave a comment on every one of the videos. Once the, like, don't, you don't have to leave a comment on the uh, introduction videos, but you can when the, let's see, the, the prep video on, the, the first video, what, what, let me check, see what number that video is, just really quick. That way, you'll, it'll be easier. Oh, it says video number one, but there is a, uh, let me look at the playlist. <laughs> there are one, two, three videos prior to video number one. So this is the first video that you would need to uh, start commenting on right there. So what you want to do is you want to comment under every video. You want to make sure that you are a subscriber to my channel and you may want to like the videos while you're there because that I really appreciate that and so you just leave a comment and then the next video after this one I will make specifically for the winners and what I'll do is I'll pick a video well, I end up picking two videos one for each winner I'll pull in the YouTube comments and then the uh, YouTube comment picker will pick the winner so that's the fairest way to do it so one winner is going to win the Cropodile. This is the extra photo corner angle and photo corner Cropodile. And the Essentials photo mats, if you don't already have them. And my stamp set. All right, so that's one winner. And then another winner is going to win the stamp set and the Essentials photo mats, if you don't already have them. So I wanted to remind you that all the rules and everything are down below you want to check that out but this will be the next video I also decided to go ahead and into the album this way because my energy level is just so low my focus is terrible um, I know these are all side effects of the cooties so I'm not trying to be too hard on myself but I didn't want to. I didn't want to keep dragging this along uh, any further than need be because you know I really just need to rest and not stress over these things. <laughs> so that's kind of my my thoughts. So I think what I'll do is I will just go. I'll we'll just start. I'll just do a flip through, and I'll talk about the things that we did. Most of the things we did in video. So. I won't go too deep uh, of, of a explanation, but if I did, if I did do it off camera, I will, I will explain further. Okay, so this is the Time of Wonders. This is the paper collection that I'm using, Time of Wonders, and I am using the Basically Amazing Foundations, the Basically Amazing Scrap Journal, and the Basically Amazing Add-on Photo Mats. So, and then these are the little chippies. So anytime you see one of the little chippies, which I've already put them up, it was just, it's nice to be able to clean up too. Once you've had products sitting out for so long, it's nice just to be able to clean that up. Oh, and I will show you um, a little trick for the elastics as well in this video. Timestamps will be down below if you want to, if you want to skip around. Uh, so anytime you see these little chippies, it's, I have watercolored them with some gold watercolor. I have a special Amazon list specifically for this album. I'll have it linked in the description box below or the show notes or the show more or the whatever you wanna call them. Okay, so this is the front cover. So let me show you the top down view 
this is the regular interactive scrapbook album and then this is the uh, junk journal scrap journal interactive part back here so it's kind of a two for one you know it's kind of a hybrid mixed up mini album i don't i still haven't really come up with a name for it so it's just going to be the time of wonders <laughs> And it's pretty thick. So let's talk about the outside covers. So the front cover is a photo mat with some of the little chippies on there. And then it opens up into a photo mat booklet. So you could put five by seven photos there. And then there's a little tag that comes out of this little top pocket. And it's got a four by six on either side. It's super cute. And then I did the spine off camera. So I took some of that green paper and I did the gold sp splashes, watercolor splashes, the watercolor, let me see if I can reach it. <laughs> These are the ones that I've been using and it's that brand. I have it linked in Amazon. I think it's, I've got it linked in Amazon. But you could use this brand, you could use this brand. You just pick the color that you like the most. You could use acrylic, liquid acrylic paint. Um, they have metallics. You could use whatever you have. So but anyway, that's what I use. So then I put the Ho 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 from the Chippies. I did the gold watercolor on them, I'm trying to put it in the light so you can see. This is one of my little labels from the uh, add-on scrap journal. And I used this stamp set from Hobby Lobby, I'm sure. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. Stamp abilities. Um, I just like the font on the numbers. So I put 2021. And then these are some of the die cuts. Some of them I fussy cut out. The little poinsettia is underneath there. And that's it. It's just as simple as that. Um, I just really like this. I just like that look. So, and then the back cover. It's really simple. I just used a full sheet of the pattern paper and just did the Merry Christmas up there. So we did that in video. But anyway, I liked it because it's simple and there's a lot going on in this album, so I wanted to keep it simple. So then here's the little spine and it's just that green pattern paper and I put the gold splotches on there and I just left it at that. I don't know, can you even see the gold splotches? The little splatters, yeah. Okay, so that's the outside. So on the inside cover, uh, we did this in the last video. I didn't do anything additionally to this. Oh, yes, I did. I added Time of Wonders, one of the chipboard stickers up there. And this is a 5 by 7 photo mat where a photo can slip under there. And also off camera, I matted this little blank area here and this uh, tab right there. I matted both of those with the matching cardstock I just use the this piece here uh, I just use this this was from the add-on scrap journal binding so I just cut these long pieces off to mat those blank spaces there and so we did this on camera and then this is a shaker flip pull out flip and this is also a little pocket right here a little fussy cut pocket this is a printable envelope that is, did I not ink the back side? It's a freebie. It's in my Buy Me A Coffee. All of that stuff is linked down below, and I don't think there's anything in it. But, um, and then the postcards that are from the add-on script journal. And then one of the labels, it says Our Story. So this is just a pocket. And then this... Isn't this fun? I love that we did a couple shakers in this album and I just think it's so cool. I love the sound uh, of, of that. So this is in video as well. And then we did a little photo mat here. I was going to come back and put a label here, but uh, I just didn't get around to it. Oh, and then this is also a freebie. It's in the Buy Me A Coffee. This is the Ornaments uh, freebie. Okay, and then on the back side, I did add a chipboard sticker up at the top here. All of the chipboard stickers I had to add extra glue to. They just don't want to stay down. They just, they're, they want to curl, and so I had to glue everything down. Um, but anyway, I just added a little something on the back of here. 
because you know a photo obviously can go here or a couple photos and that goes back there and then you flip this open and this is the first waterfall and then we have the gold splatters all the way around splatters then we have the gold accents all the way around and then we have the uh, wax seal closure there and this opens up like this right I didn't mat the back sides of these I can these are the four by six photo mats from the add-on photo mats um, I just didn't but I do have the little strips here and the other waterfall that I have I didn't do the strips I just I, it wasn't feeling good so I just skipped it <laughs> so lots of room for photos here and then this one is stuck down so it's not coming up and then the string is underneath there so lots of room for photos there and then this is from my shades of color and the scripty papers from the scrap journal um, so that's what made this it was this was a fun video um, I will link it specifically well no I won't this was a fun video it's in the playlist um, easy simple good technique for making waterfalls and then this was in the last video I just did a little chipboard sticker here and then this was a one of the envelope floating pockets from the scrap journal and a tag and then these two here are just the um, die cuts either they were either die cuts or they were fussy cut out by me I bet you they were die cuts just by looking at them so <laughs> But anyway, I just glued those down so it's like a little tuck. You can tuck things up under there. And I liked it hanging over the side here. So I didn't end up putting anything under here, even though you could. And these both flipped down. These were from the, I took the whole 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and cut it into quarters. And each one of these has a floating pocket with an insert. These are from the scrap journal and a tag and then this is from the scrap journal and then this little piece of writing paper is from one of my background sets set number five I just printed it smaller so there's nothing on the back of those so there's two sets of those and then these open up they're held down by magnets and I didn't add anything to these pages I just left them again I was just exhausted and <laughs> I decided that those are good places for photos so then these fold up like this and I'm still exhausted and there is room under here to slide something in they are popped up a little bit on some foam tape and then I just added a chipboard sticker onto this page because when you close that you can see through and I just wanted a little something it didn't have to be much but a photo could go here of course or you could do writing journaling Okay, so this is a clear acetate page. We did some video as well, and it's a little tuck. And then both of these are just tucked into that little spot there. One's a four by six photo, one's a five by seven photo mat, and they were both printed with shades of color and the script paper that um, comes with the scrap journal. And then the same on this side. So a little tuck, and then those come out four by six by by seven add a little bit of bling on the acetate here and it's been stuck just fine it hasn't I haven't had any issues with it at all so that was the first that was the first fin and then here is the second fin and at these two little corner pockets that I love I added a little bling I didn't go back you guys this has little bling on the little clusters I didn't go back and add a bunch of bling on everything again I'm just I just am exhausted and my brain just doesn't want to work properly right now so I'm just gonna give it a break <laughs> but these two little corner pockets with a little bit of bling and I just love the look of that so here's the other two they the page that you these come on there's there's four so I just I don't know I just wanted to add both sets right and I just like the way this looks so inside this two little corner pockets is this little booklet that we made we did this on camera used some pattern paper and then we used some copy uh, dyed paper and the file folder is from the scrap journal I think yeah 
And then this is a the free envelope that's available in my Buy Me a Coffee. So this is the real size. And the other size that you saw, that's a smaller printed version of this envelope. And then we did this cool little wax seal embellishment with one of the chippies. It says, don't open till Christmas. And then of course the splatters, the watercolor splatters. I just love the look of that. I don't know, there's, it just looks so good. I didn't put anything inside. And then there is a postcard that I stuck in there. So it's like a little pocket and we just sewed it with some Baker's twine. And that's that. And then this opens up, it's held down by magnets. And over here, four by six photo with, with a cluster of chipboard sticker and die cuts and then a label where you can write who's in there. And then this is the second set of corners. And this is still on the, all on the same fin here. Second set of corners. And this is the shades of color and then the diamond check background design on here and then some splatters. And then we made another version of a booklet. We did the, the gold watercolor on the chippies and then the poinsettias behind with this green and a little bit of splatter. And this one we did the binding a little bit different. So this one, you could put four by six photos on all of these. Do I have a four by six photo mat just sitting out? Let me grab one, just so you can see. Okay, so look, you can actually put photos on these pages and then right here on the bottom, uh, who's in it and what's about, what's going on in the photo. So there's that fun little booklet, All right? And then this is a side pocket. So on the back of this fin, it's just a plain, it's not a plain, it's the piece of patterned paper from the collection. And I just completely matted the whole thing. You could put a photo here. I did a little cutout right there so that you know to pull that out. And I didn't do anything on the photo map, but we got our foiled hoe reinforcements on there and of course the black and white baker's twine as the pull. We did this in video. Most of the things we did in video though, to be honest. <laughs> this was in the last video. I did the let it snow. Um, this is a chippy. So you can see it's a little thicker. Just did the let it snow with the gold watercolor and then a 4 by 6 photo mat. There's no tucking or anything. It just is what it is. So this is the second set of covers. And then you open it up. And here is the back of the cover. I did add some of these chipboard stickers onto the bottom here. It just says family time. And I cut it to a uh, straight edge to mat or to fit on the mat. And then we've got some this is matted here, the four by six and the three by four. Those are matted onto the back of here. And then we've got loose photo mats, five by seven, four by six, three by four. I didn't do anything to these. I didn't even ink them or nothing, nothing to the back. I just um, have them in here. Let's see, whoops, what's going on here? So you can add as many photos as you want here. So it was just another little idea to utilize your covers. And then I'm gonna flip this over like this. Um, I did go ahead and use this purple piece that I wasn't sure if I was gonna mat this little area or not with it, but I did. I just did the gold splatters, watercolor splatters on there and I just matted it just for a finishing touch. And then here is the other waterfall. This is the landscape version and there is a little floating pocket that's just part of the embellishment and then some fussy cut images from the paper collection and this says Christmas tree, Christmas cheer, Christmas gifts. These are from the chipboard stickers and then another wax seal closure and it's done the same way as the other one but we did this in video as well and this does come out this little tag this is from Vintage Ledger um, that I traced onto 
um, the tag onto, and then this waterfall goes this way. And you see I didn't mat these little in-between spaces, and I didn't put the photo mats on the back. So lots of room for photos here, but you can, I should, and I would on a normal, <laughs> on a normal day, I would go ahead and mat those, but again, no energy. So all kinds of room for photos. Look at that, that's so many photos. And then we've got this last piece here. So yeah, it just closes up like this. Nice and tidy. Okay. And then we've got the two, these, these are all removable. This, this section here is the removable part. So this is the scrap journal part. And we did full journal covers. And this was a really popular video as well. So we did full journal cover, shaker journal covers. And so on the front and the back of these is just a full shaker, which is fun. I like that. And then we did these full pages. Uh, photo mats and I didn't come back and I was said I was going to and I didn't come back I was gonna put some strips of Patterned paper or maybe some labels or whatever die cuts we have left over because I have quite a few uh, bits left over fussy cut bits and die cut bits From the paper collection. Maybe one day I'll come back and do that. I completely forgot about that but again um but again, <laughs> moving along. And you can also add your, your Christmas cards in these elastic pieces. So these, again, these are all removable. You can add as many as you want. You can remove them. You can, you can change it up to do whatever you want. I just wanted to give you a bunch of ideas to uh, utilize this space. So I really do love these sugar journal covers. I think that's a fun, fun idea. So that's on one fin, right? And then you can see the elastic. But on this one, you can see that the knot has disappeared and the elastic tails are gone. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Because um, I left this one here so that you could see. There's the knot and there's the tails. So the second fin is a uh, journal. It too is removable, but we did sew the pages together. So it's a, it's a scrap journal that can be removed but it's sewn in um, as a journal but can be removed from the bigger journal so we made this fun little cover here we fussy cut this out of a six by six uh, piece of patterned paper and we did the gold splatters it's really simple postcards there's postcards in the journal checker covers as well floating elements and there's also chippies in there um, it's all in the video but I had added a little bit of bling on here on the favorite memories part of my stamp set and then there's a collection of old papers I didn't even come back and do anything to the inside covers which you can there's so many there's so many options in this album of things that you can do to um, spice things up a little bit you know you can put pictures here you could put journaling here you could use some of the die cuts so you could use the stickers here anyway so then a collection of old ledgers this is an old ledger a very old ledger actually and then this uh, is double side printed my shades of color and did some of the gold splatters here's that full fussy cut page from the patterned paper from the collection itself so I fussy cut uh, out and then trim top and bottom and then there's some coffee stain paper vintage ledger vintage ledger coffee stain this is the freebie envelope um, you can see I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the stitching inside of there once we closed it up wax seal closure and then it repeats, copy stained, vintage ledger, vintage ledger, copy stained. There's that fussy cut, other side of that fussy cut page. There's the shades of color page. Then vintage ledger, vintage ledger, and then the back cover. And in the back cover, I just did um, a little cluster here. This was a chipboard sticker and these were both, I either fussy cut it or it was part of the die cuts. And then left the rest plain. So let me show you, and that's it. 
that's all I that's all I did I think I think so let me show you what I'm gonna do so here I've got the knot for the cording and it's tight enough so I don't have to do anything with that sorry my voice is going but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these extra pieces I'm gonna cut it to about half an inch from the knot like that right and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna pull from the top I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna let that knot go down into let me see if I can flip it up into this end here do you see that there can you see it you can see it on that one so that cleans it up really nicely you don't have to worry about all of that extra cording just hanging around you can leave it until you're finished if you want you don't have to do it right away that's why I didn't do it right away this way I can adjust it and make it tighter if I needed it and I still can because that's half an inch is enough to be able to untie it and pull it tight tur but um, it hides the knot and you don't have to worry about any of the tails hanging out by the way we do because it's loose that cording is still loose inside of this fin so we did that in video so you can check out the video playlist for that um, and yeah that's it that's just that's, that's it I think that's all that's all I showed that's all I did that's all the videos this is video number 18 I think it's a lot of videos okay you guys so don't forget I also do apologize for the last few videos me being sick I do I really do I am so very sorry but I couldn't not film it so <laughs> so anyway <laughs> So all of the, if you're interested in the products that I used, uh, or the freebies, uh, there's the links all in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. Don't forget to leave a comment even on this video because the next video, I think I'll wait today. Let's see, this video will go up on, let me see, let me think. This video will go up, today is actually Wednesday, so... This video will go up on the 28th, so on January 31st, which will be Monday, that's when I'll do the giveaway drawing video. So you have until then to go through and comment on all of the videos. So while you're there, be sure to give me a thumbs up, you know, be sure to leave me a comment, make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload a video. And yeah, I really love the way this project turned out. I just wish I would have felt better towards the end of it there, and that's okay, that's okay. And I am looking forward to cleaning up the rest of the mess. I mean, I still need to go through and clean things up, and I do have a lot of leftovers, and I was planning on doing like, what can we do with the rest of the stuff? But I'm just so tired. I just cannot think. I mean, I, I just, my brain just is not working with me. <laughs> so I'm going to dump that right now before I forget. But okay, you guys, do let me know what you think. Let me know if you made it. Let me know what your favorite part is about this album and how we made it and the different aspects of it let me know what you like the best so i like the waterfalls i like the shaker elements the best i like i like the acetate page is fun i like these inserts i think those are fun i like my scrap journals i like vintage papers i like the old papers i don't know i like old book pages i love all that stuff um, I like the waterfalls. I like the shaker. I like it all. I think I like it all. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me. And thank you for joining me today. And thank you for your patience and your grace that you guys have shown me. I will see you guys next time. Bye.